told them we're outside of the FedEx Forum for what else? Memphis Madness. Here at the front of the line with the Tiger fan, what's your name? Damon Jones. How long have you been waiting here? Since 11 o'clock. Wow, so you're excited, right? Every year. What are you most excited to see tonight? Um, the, the excitement of everybody that's playing, coming out, watching the games. Um, really want to see the recruits, see how you know we can get them pumped up so they can see how the uh, Tiger fans are. Do you have any predictions on who's going to win the dunk contest? DJ, every year. Is this your first time in Memphis, Matt? No, ma'am. This is our fifth or sixth time here. And we've been coming early. This is our annual event for our family. We come together every single year. All right, it's finally Memphis Madness. Are you excited about tonight? Yes, I am very excited. Uh, this is my third year in Memphis, and I'm ready to see what we're going to do this year. So what's Blue Crew bringing tonight? Blue Crew, uh, this year is different. I have, we have a lot of different uh, energy. Like this year, like everybody is so energized, and we're ready to see what, uh, what we can do to make this season better for them. What are your predictions about the dunk contest? Who's going to win? Um, I got to say my boy DJ is going to take it again this year. All right, give me a big go Tigers. Go Tigers! Yeah! The fans are excited. They're filing into the FedEx Forum. Let's go check out the madness.
results are in, and Adonis Thomas upsets Antonio Barton by winning the three-point contest, and DJ Steffens takes home the dunk contest crown once again. We're going to talk to some players and Coach Passner. So after Antonio just promised he was going to take it. I'm guaranteeing I win the three-point contest again. Uh, how does it feel to have those bragging rights in the locker room now? I mean, he did a lot of talking, so I just uh, kept quiet. But in the end, I, uh, the results showed for itself. DJ, we interviewed some fans before the doors opened, and you were the predicted winner of the dunk contest. How does that feel? I mean, it, it feels pretty good. Um, before the dunk contest, it actually had me really nervous because it's like I won last year, so it was expected of me to perform and win again. So it kind of it, it, it helps me in the end, but in the beginning, I was really nervous. What do you think a free event like this means to the city of Memphis? Not the students, but the city. I mean, it, it definitely it definitely means a lot for anybody to be able to come out and show support for their program because throughout the year, um, a lot of people aren't able to make it because they work, and just for them to be able to come out on this night, it means a lot. This was just a fantastic evening, and uh, um, you know, now we go, now we really start. You know, tomorrow we got to get to work, and I think. From everybody here, they're going to want to see us pr produce on the floor and when the ball's tipped. But this is a good start of of, of, of the season. I mean, there's nothing like Memphis Madness. Um, you know, uh, I mean, again, Arizona's a great program. It's a great school. Tremendous fan base. Uh, uh, I mean, a tremendous, tremendous fan base. One of the elite fan bases in the country. But I still say to this day, Memphis fan base is the best in the country. And I'll put our fan base up against any other team. In, in, in college basketball, and I mean that. That's it for Memphis Madness. The Tigers begin practice tomorrow at the Finch Center. For the Memphis Tiger Network, I'm Carrie Oldham.